Hey everyone, I'm Josh from Before. Recently I did a short video showing you the black wash that I added to this McFarland Toys DC Multiverse Hush. And I got some requests to do a more in-depth black wash tutorial video. And I think this is a great topic for a video because it's a very simple trick that you can add to any figure, vehicle, accessory, miniatures, whatever you need. Now a lot of you out there are more experienced, advanced customizers. This is gonna be old news to you. But personally, for a long time, I was a very apprehensive customizer, and I was never confident that my additions were going to be an improvement over the original figure, even when the original figure wasn't that great to begin with. And it wasn't until my friend Danny, who many of you know is Galactic Geek, we were collaborating on a dio that we were using for a photo shoot. He was black washing the dumpster and the trash cans, and I saw him doing that, and I was like, oh, that's it? That's all it takes? It was far simpler than I'd realized, and the results were a huge improvement over the original. So you're gonna start with a product similar to this. I use Tester's Black Wash here. Sometimes like if you're searching for this at Amazon, the name will be inconsistent. Like this says acrylic wood stain on the side, but then on the side it says FX Black Wash. If you search Tester's Black Wash on Amazon, it should be the first return. So you're gonna lay this on real thick with a brush. It's very watery. You can just use a ratty old brush because it's not about the perfect brush strokes. It's about just laying the stuff on there, making sure it gets settled into all those grooves. It's gonna be drippy, so make sure your paint station is all prepped, and if you're trying to avoid getting the wash on other parts of the figure, tape those parts off ahead of time. Now we wait. Give it about 10, maybe 15 minutes even to dry. You're, you'll be able to tell when it's hitting that sweet spot between partially dry, partially wet, and that's gonna be something you get a better feel for the more you do it. But after you've waited a, a bit, you're gonna take a paper towel and gently wipe and dab the excess wash off. And what you want to happen is the wash that has settled into the deepest grooves is gonna remain on the figure, and the more exposed surfaces will be wiped away partially or even completely in some spots. So the dark wash that is settled into the grooves is gonna increase the contrast of all the sculpted details. You're probably gonna to wanna to repeat this process a few times to get the best results. And then once you're done, hit the figure with some kind of spray sealer. I use Mr. Super Clear, and you can get that in gloss or matte. But as we can see here, the results speak for themselves. And that is all you need to add a black wash to your figures. If you're like me and you're apprehensive about laying paint on the figure, you're worried it's not going to be just perfect or just the way you pictured it, this is a great place to start. You don't have to be the best painter in the world. So give it a shot. Get out there and get customizing, guys. I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.